All right, tonight's Infrared Sauna question is going to be, are J&H sauna reviews on Amazon fake? <laughs> Hi, Matt. You said in your review that the J&H Lifestyles NZ was low, low EMF, but you're still not recommending it. How come all the five-star Amazon reviews seem to be rating so well, but you say it's not good? Any info would be helpful. Just trying to understand what to buy under 3K is all I have to spend. Oh, under 3,000 is the budget. Okay. Um, thanks. Uh... Okay, yeah, um, I did say in the review that the J&H Lifestyles NZ was low EMF, but you have to keep in mind, just because it says J&H Lifestyles doesn't mean that it's the same product lineup, like there's two different models. So I don't remember the names of the other ones, but the lower end ones that are between, <clears throat> I believe like nine ninety, let's just say 1000 and say $1,800, I think, are the lower end ones. Uh, I've seen some videos online of people with EMF meters in those, uh, and it's much higher EMF than the NZ. The NZ that I had was $2,500, and I think the cheapest one is like, don't quote me on this, but it's somewhere around $2,000, like for a one or a two person. And then the one that I bought was a little bigger, at about $2,500, and <clears throat> it was low EMF. The reason that I don't recommend it is because the build quality was crap. Um, it had like wooden, I think I've covered this in a couple other videos actually already. Um, it's okay if the, the same questions get asked though, I, you know, I'll still do a video for you. Um, in the milling and stuff in the sauna, there was like wood shavings coming off of it. Um, I didn't like it because the holes had sawdust dropping out of it, which should have been cleaned out from the factory. And it was, it, long story short, what I'm getting at is the build quality just was bad. Like if you looked at the heaters, <clears throat> they literally just screwed onto the wall. There was no recessed um, openings in the walls for the infrared heaters to go in. So it's not like this sauna where the heaters are recessed and then there's a nice grill that snaps over it. Um, I didn't like that. And the actual heaters, the emitters themselves, if you go back to my JNH Lifestyles review video, um, if you, if you look somewhere for like JNH Lifestyles NZ review, you should find it. You can actually see, cause I had a DSLR camera. You can see that the heaters themselves that wrap the infrared carbon panels were made from scrap wood or some type of furring strip or something that was like super, super cheap. And I mean, it was like sitting in a cardboard box. You could just, you know, it wasn't hard like this. You could touch it and the panels would flex. It was just really bad quality. I love the design that they had with all the windows and stuff. It was very open feeling, like it had a lot of potential. It was lower EMF. And then the deal breaker for me on the NZ was that I don't know how they're achieving the low EMF, um, but I have to wonder if they're throttling the power supply somehow because I let that sucker preheat for an hour, then I sat in it for 45 minutes, then I put heat lamps through the glass to heat it up even more, and then I finally started sweating. So to me, um, I don't know how to answer your question. No, I don't think the Amazon reviews are fake. I just think that the people that are buying that sauna have never been in a sauna before. They go on Amazon, they see something that looks good, they buy it, they get it, they sweat a little bit, you know, but they'll be sweating this, I don't know if you can see this, but they'll be sweating this much, you know, after 35 minutes. I've been in here for three minutes and 23 seconds making this video for you. I did not get in here before I started the camera. Um, and it's not like I was sweating before I turned the camera on either. So the, the difference is huge. <clears throat> and what I think is really happening is the people that are reviewing that stuff on Amazon, they just don't know what they're missing, right? They've never been in other saunas before. They have no idea that it shouldn't take 35 minutes, you know, to just start sweating on your back. They have no idea that you should have, you know, sweat dripping from your elbows and from 100% of your body because somebody in a J Inch Lifestyles is never going to have knees. You know, I don't know if I can show you this, but they're never going to have that much sweat, you know, coming off their knees in four minutes and six seconds. It's just not going to happen. And so, um, I hope that gives you a good idea of my perspective. It's just that I've been in so many saunas and I know what a quality sauna is as soon as I step foot in it, as soon as I use it for the first 15 minutes. And the J and H is just not that. I mean, it's like sitting in a cardboard box. <clears throat> this is a true case of you get what you pay for. The NZ is low EMF. The other ones are not <clears throat> I've seen plenty of situations where um, the non-NZ models have higher EMF in them. But at the end of the day, if you're not sweating, what, what does it matter if it's low EMF or high EMF? Like, you know, when it's a pile of junk and it, it won't make you sweat after an hour, there's really no point. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It's just not an effective, you know, piece of machinery, in my opinion. So, <clears throat> um, trying to understand what to buy for under 3K. 
Well, I mean, the sauna that I'm sitting in right now is under $3,000. I paid $27.95 for this sauna. Um, and that was before, you know, when I was just a customer and researching myself and I didn't want to spend, you know, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 on a clear light, a sunlight and, um, or something else that, you know, no question they make good saunas, but it's like, you really have to spend that much money to get the, the healing benefits or the detox benefits to do a metal, uh, a nice and flush or a nice and detox like I want to do in the house. I didn't think so. That's why I didn't buy one. That's why I bought this. Um, so I could sell you this same sauna today for the same price that I paid for it. I mean, twenty seven ninety five um, is a really good deal for for a, a three hundred sixty degree infrared sauna. So I hope that answers your question. If it didn't, let me know in the comments, and I'll make a, or I'll see you in tomorrow's video.